Hi, my name is Everson and I'm a trainer for Direct-to-Garment Printing. Today we are going to talk about a topic that is essential for DTG printing. Everybody always talks about technical aspects related to Direct-to-Garment Printing, but you can never make a bad design look good when printed. If the design is bad, there is no way that the print will look good you will always get what you see in the original image. Especially in direct-to-garment printing, which is the printing method that is most commonly used for print-on-demand platforms like Merch by Amazon. The final print lives and dies with the quality of the design. So it pays off to put some effort and care into the creation of your designs. So, which software can you use to create designs that will result in fantastic prints? In this video, we talk about seven options you have for designing t-shirts in 2020. We included options from absolute beginners and professionals, and we sort them out from our least to our absolute favorite. I bet number one will be a surprise for you. Do you have a favorite program to create t-shirt designs? Let us know in the comments. And don't forget to support us. Don't forget to support us by subscribing to our channel. So let's have a look at uh, seven programs you can use to design t-shirts. If you are a total beginner, you can start by using an online generator or online design software. There are several options available to create simple designs. For example, design software like Canva, dedicated apps like WordRabbit, or integrated into print-on-demand analytic tools like Merch Informer. However, we strongly recommend you to be careful when you use tools like this. Make sure to study very well their terms and conditions. Double check if you are allowed to use your final creation in the way you want to use it. And especially check for commercial licenses. Also, in our opinion, the features of online generators are often very limited and the subscription quite expensive considering their limited functions. We believe online generators can be an option for you if you are just starting with t-shirt design. But we recommend you to take some time to learn how to create a t-shirt in a design program. It is not that complicated to add a few lines of text or clip art, which is what online generators do most of the time. You can learn how to do this quickly with any design software. So let's have a look at some more professional options. Krita is an open source graphic design software and quite popular with many people. And it's free. Another popular open source option is GIMP. But GIMP is more a photo editing software, whereas Krita is more geared towards uh, digital art and illustration. This software could be for you when you want to make your first steps in t-shirt design but you do not want to spend any money on it. Generally speaking, most likely you will find every function you need to create simple t-shirt designs. Chances are though that it may not be as user-friendly as some of the following options we are going to discuss next. Affinity Designer is a program to create vector graphics. Affinity Designer is a one-time payment and not a subscription, so it's an affordable alternative to Adobe Illustrator. Vector designs can be used in many printing methods, not just screen printing. You can also use vector-based designs for DTG printing. You just have to pay attention because those large, solid color areas that are typical for vector designs can cause some troubles with DTG printing. You will more easily see any imperfections from missing nozzles, 
which can result in no visible lines or bonding on your print. One of the biggest downsizes of Affinity Designer is that you cannot automatically trace pixel designs and turn them into a vector yet, which is a feature we use quite a lot. If you need to do that, you can either help yourself by using an online converter or you need to use one of the more expensive Adobe programs. By the way, Maggie did a video on her channel about how you can vectorize pixel graphics on the iPad. I will link that video up there in the corner and in the description of this video. Affinity Photo is the second program from the Affinity Universe and it's their version of Adobe Photoshop. It has very similar functionality and again, it's very affordable. I believe it's currently uh, 55 euros for Mac and 22 euros for the iPad. And it's a one-time payment and not a subscription, which makes this a very good uh, deal in our opinion. The program is already on a very high level, but if you are used to Photoshop, it can be a little bit difficult to find your way around. On the other hand, there are already lots of great tutorials available that you can use to teach yourself the program. We believe Affinity Photo and Affinity Designer can be fantastic alternatives to Adobe programs because they are very affordable and you do not have to pay for a monthly subscription. But since we already use the Adobe Universe and uh, need other programs like Premiere and uh, InDesign for our daily business, we put the next two programs ahead of the Affinity in our ranking. But if we will not already pay for that Adobe subscription, I believe we would make the Affinity range our default. So now, let's move on to the top three of programs that you can use to create a t-shirt. I guess you can already guess which programs will get to the third and second place, but I believe our number one will be surprising for you. The third place goes to Adobe Illustrator. I believe Adobe Illustrator is quite well known and uh, does not need too much explanation. It is the program of choice for most uh, professionals who create lots of uh, vector-based designs. We mainly use Illustrator for text-based designs because it is very easy to manipulate the text and add uh, text effects like warping the text. The second place goes to Adobe Photoshop. We mainly use this program when we create prints with uh, lots of images or some kind of photo manipulation. We also use it to combine images with vectors that we create in Illustrator and then add extra image effects to them. We also use it to knock out the black colors when we need to do it manually. And now let's move on to our personal favorite. It's a program that changed the way we create t-shirts. So our personal number one program to create t-shirt designs with is Procreate. This app has such a huge and raving fan base for a reason. It is fantastic for drawing. It is available for the iPad and the iPhone. But especially when you own an iPad that is compatible with the Apple Pencil, that's when it shines. You can draw directly on the screen. By the way, you do not need to buy the most expensive iPad just to use Procreate. It also works like a charm on an iPad mini. We would recommend that you look for an iPad that is uh, compatible with the Apple Pencil and then you are good to go. 
The only difference between use Procreate on uh, iPad Pro uh, versus some uh, weaker iPad models is that Procreate may give you more layers on the Pro models. Apart from being easy to use, Procreate has many useful features. For example, the pencil is uh, pressure sensitive, so you can vary between thick and thin lines. You can set up different canvas sizes, resolution and color profiles. You can use layers and use different blend modes. You can add text. You can create shapes like perfect circles. You can turn the background to transparent and export a perfect printing file for your perfect t-shirt design. If you are into drawing or illustration and you want to create fantastic looking t-shirt designs, we strongly recommend Procreate. Another benefit is that Procreate is very affordable. The app costs only around 10 euros. So, what are the downsizes? While it's possible to add text, it's a little bit tricky to create effects like a curved text. But at the end of the day, Procreate is a drawing program and this is what it does best. So this is a complaining at a very high level. Depending on the iPad model and the size of the design, you may only have a few layers available to draw on. We recommend Procreate for everyone who does illustration and draw graphic t-shirts. You should give a try. We already released a short tutorial a while ago where we show how we create a t-shirt design with Procreate. You can find a link in the description. So, for most designs we use one of the last three programs or a combination of Illustrator, Photoshop and Procreate depending on the strengths and uh, what we need to design. When we hand draw a design, we use Procreate. When we use lots of images and photos, we use Photoshop. When we create a text-based design, we use Illustrator. Or when a t-shirt design combines several of those features, we combine the programs. For example, when we do a graphic t-shirt, we start by creating an illustration in Procreate. Then, it depends on the use. If we need it as a vector, we load it into Illustrator and uh, vectorize the design. Then, we add the other image elements, effects or text. If we just need a pixel image, we often use the design right out of Procreate without any additional adjustments. But if we want to add some additional elements or need to knock out some colors, for example, to print on black, we import the design in Photoshop and edit it accordingly to our needs. So this is our take on seven programs you can use to create t-shirts. But at the end of the day, the tools uh, do not matter too much. What helps most with uh, success is to use them regularly, create lots of t-shirts and refine your skills along the way. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and also to get uh, our newsletter with uh, the most update information on uh, DTG printing and uh, t-shirt design. All the best to you.